Right, so uh, in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to run an SQL query uh, but by generating it using PHP on a web page and then how to grab the results of that query and display them on the screen. Now we're only going to grab one record from a table and display it so we won't be addressing looping in multiple uh, multiple bits of data just yet. So um, first thing is I'm working with uh, the same page I was in when I did the connection string so uh, this has been saved as testing.php it has the connection string at the top and I'm just going to paste the uh, oops, where am I? paste this in, I've copied this earlier and uh, three lines, now this is not how everyone does it but this is how I choose to run my queries uh, you'll see in the red here I've got select everything from news where news ID equals one now what that is, is that little bit of SQL that we've practiced in the past that means select all the data from the table called news where the news ID equals one, so in other words the first article in that table. Now what I do is I create that as a variable which in this case I've called it dollar sign news uh, underscore SQL which basically is, is my way of saying this is the SQL um, that we're going to be running. Now the next line is to actually execute that query, so um, I'm going to run that query by using the PHP command mysql underscore query, and in brackets I have my variable that I set up there on line 5, uh, dollar sign news underscore sql, and uh, I have a little or die, so in other words if there's an error um, we stop running any, any code. Um, and what I do is I assign the results of that to this variable here which I've called dollar sign news underscore query so the results go into there. Now what I'm going to do next is use this PHP command called mysql fetch associative uh, ASOC which actually puts the data we get into what's called an associative array. Now what that means is it puts all the data into an array and actually each bit of data is labelled so um, if I just quickly flick to the table that I'm working with um, the first bit of data will come through labelled as news ID, the second one will be labelled as headline, the third one is article and the fourth bit of data, bit of data will be labelled as author. So it's a way of um, then I can call that information. I'll just return to Dreamweaver. So uh, in that bracket there it just tells me that I'm taking the data from that dollar sign news query variable and putting it into an associative array which I have called dollar sign RS news and the reason I'm calling it RS it stands for record set it's just um, refers to what I'm storing the information in. So anyway that's uh, the, how you run the query using um, SQL and PHP. Now um, down in the body of the page though what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to echo that or print that information onto the screen. So uh, what I'm going to do is make the headline um, a heading so I'm going to use the H1 tag and uh, then I'm going to use some PHP so I open a PHP tag and I'm going to echo, which means display on the screen, some information from that dollar sign news array, that's the associative array, and in a square bracket and then a quote mark, I'm actually going to call the headline. And so I'll close off the square bracket, finish with a semicolon, and then close the PHP tag, and then I'll just close the heading. Now what that should do, and I'll just go back to the uh, table so you can see it, that should now return the headline bit of data which says my first article exclamation mark and that should appear as a major heading. Next thing I'm going to do is have the author so I'll have the paragraph tag, have the word by space and then in PHP I'm going to echo the author and close the paragraph tag. Okay. So again with my first article this should have by Mr. Adams. And the final thing I'm going to do is have the article itself. So I'm going to echo from this record set the bit of data we've labelled as article. And that's inside paragraph tags. So I'm just going to save that. And I'm going to upload that to the testing server by pressing F12 and I've already done that connection stuff, if you're not sure how to do that just check with me and anyway here it pops up um, there's the web page testing.php and here you can see my first article exclamation mark um, in a major heading 
by Mr. Adams and blah blah blah. I love programming databases are the best. If we go back to our whoops, where are we? To our database. I'm getting lost here. If we go back to the table, blah blah. I love programming databases are the best. So we've actually got the correct information. So there's our page. And so that, if I return to Dreamweaver, is how you first of all run the query up above there with those three lines. And then down here is how I display the results of that query on a page.